Y'all see that? That's that there head that we got got out of that UPS box. And this little thing right yonder, oh, protect that with all costs. It's a high price little thing. It's a pop metal right there. And it's got a little, it's, uh, it, it's going to have a, 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 and I don't see that one right there. It's in there somewhere. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's dress her down a little bit. Oh, I see it right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, caught her in there. That's what holds that little, little, little linkage on there. So it's, it's important that, that that be open. I will get that out of there. Uh, support it on the bottom there. Take a small punch and punch it through there. Don't put no pressure at all on that pop metal thing or it will break. Just looking at it, they want to break. This one, it, the, the spring under is bad. The flapper is good in yonder. It's good tight shaft right there. Hardly any, any play at all. So I will put a new spring on yonder and just, just get that one off. I know what you're going to say is, well, it looks pretty good there. Why don't you just put a new... Uh, you know, bend the new loop in it right there. Well, just not good practice. Don't be bending no loop in that thing right there thinking you're going to be successful at it because you change the tension of the spring for one thing. The uh, And it's rusty. It's almost rusted away. Brittle at best. So now on the get-go is the best time to replace it. They're available. Just make the call. Get you one on order. Uh, this uh, and it will go back on there without taking that thing off. This one is in such good shape. I may not remove it, even though the screw looking down in the side of it in yonder, it, it's uh, well, it's in good shape. So you know, it's one of those things not to be fooling with any more that is necessary i'm just giving you a little 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 tidbit of advice and you you wonder why well, how come you're doing how come how come you're doing what you're doing right there at this point in time well if, you, if you're going to break it you want to break it immediately so you can make the call and get the other one in the mail we got that off of there that's really good and tight there's hardly no play whatsoever in there Oh, we're going to be good. And now you can put that other spring right on here without taking that off. I will run a tap in all holes, inch and a quarter in the bottom right here. We'll run a tap in there after we clean it up. Uh, Electrolysis M threads looks good. The threads in the spark plug holes looks really good. I'll run a tap in there. The tap in the carburetor mixer bolts, we'll run those in there. The next thing, and the valves are free. So the next next thing we got to do is to get the valves out to look at the stem and the seat now this is this is a remember this was an ebay purchase i know nothing about this head looking at it it looks like it's been laying on the shelf dust dirty it don't look like it's been on the engine for quite some time the uh and if i may just go ahead and throw something right in here for you know for uh let's just say conversation i'm not endorsing any of these products in no way don't don't construe when i use something here that i'm construe that i'm that i am endorsing it it's just something that works for me and this crow right here i'll tell you what that's some really good stuff right there but you know they done it they cost too much it's uh it's really expensive that crow it's really good i like it uh, if you if you use Kroll, I don't think you will have any problems with it whatsoever. And this SP3 right here, you know, they hop this stuff up right here to be a really, really good. You know, don't use it. Don't combine it with nothing else. You know, all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? It says, uh, you know, with patience, patience pays off. Well, most of this is a job shop here. You know, I'm going to get it done. I use this stuff right here. I like it. But, you know... Uh, on a daily basis, 
And I tell you something else, you don't see no WD-40 out here, and it's just a waste of time to even get the can out to show you WD-40. It just totally has no use whatsoever in my life at this point. I have used WD-40, I have used my share of it, and I can tell you that, uh, well, I feel that I wasted my money on it, is what I feel like. The, my advice, when, when you get something in here, uh, whatever it be, immediately spray it down with something. And I have just come to the conclusion that this, this PB Blaster, and I'm not endorsing it to you to use it at all. It's just what I use. It's cheap. And I usually figure one can PB Blaster per engine. You know, that's pretty, that's pretty cheap. And I have used that there motor oil and acetone and, and transmission fluid. All of those other concoctions, believe me, I have used them all. That probably ain't none of them. Uh, that aerospace industry stuff, you know, that, that, that stuff you can't get except on a... Uh, well, some kind of secret. <laughs> you know, it's hard to get. I've used that stuff. Uh, the, uh, and, and at the end of the day, PB Blaster works for me. That's just all I'm saying, just PB Blaster, you know, spray it on there, get it done, pass on. That's enough about that. Uh, bring that, bring that pin out of there. The, uh, one of them has a pin in it. The bottom one down right there has that there pin in it, and the, top one has a uh, bolt on it. Get that little thing out right there. And we're going to make a new one, but keep it for length and all. The uh, And this is original type cast iron keeper and the ca original type spring. We'll reuse that after it's been through the electrolysis tank. The, the, the point of this whole the point of this show and tell is th th this is what you're going to get when you uh, this is what you're going to do when you get a part that you know you have you don't know the history of it it's something new to you. the um, the normal size on this boat is a half inch is which what is what that is that one turns so we'll put a, a trusty old uh and get that right off of there. Now this should have a castellated nut. This is not the correct nut on the top of this. Uh, it's not correct. Scrap that. The, the, the bigger one right here. And you probably... No, it's going to turn. Uh, and I'm holding the back, I'm holding, I'm holding the head, uh, it's going to turn, so I'll have to put a, I'm going to have to put a screwdriver. Uh, the back of the valve has got a, it's got a screwdriver slot in it, see that? This one down here has got the, got this, this kind on here, that one's got the screwdriver. The, uh, so, you know, just, uh, you never know what, what you're going to find when you open uh, one of these up. You just never know. Once it once it gets loose, then I hold it with the palm of my hand. Oh, it's going to be all right now. I get that off of there. This spring here looks original. Well, see, that's one of those things you cannot you cannot make an observation. Until you get the thing off in hand and look at it. And this spring here would not be a spring you would reuse. You, this spring I will not reuse. That's the original piece up here. But the bottom of this spring is broken away. It should be coming around with a flat thing like this. So I will put a new spring on there. And... Just to uh, come into uh, play right now, this is the new spring, and you see how they made that extra half a loop around there so it'll set flat. The top is the same way, fits up like that. This is the correct type nut on the top, castellated with a cotter through yonder. Cast iron head, uh, steel shaft. It's very good. These are available 
for order uh, uh, hit and miss, you know, good company to deal with. The exhaust valve is uh, same cast iron head steel uh, shaft, mild steel, the uh, original type of spring and a cast iron seat and a new cross piece. Kind of expensive, but the valves are complicated to make in the shop. Now, I do in the wintertime, I'll make a valve, but in the summertime, you know, it's, eh, you know, let somebody else do it. Pull, let's get that valve right there out of there. Now, you see, I just pulled that out, and this, this was dry when I got it, and I sprayed it down that penetrating oil, and you see how it cut that rust loose already now, just to wipe it one time, and you can see some little pitting right there, but there's no, there's not a big undercut right here, but yet it's, it, it has been, it's pitted. You would not put this valve, uh, there would be no, there would be no, it, it would not warrant putting a valve guide in this head and reusing this valve simply because it would wear the guide out post haste. At this point, what, what I have to do, or you, if you had it there on your workbench, is to evaluate how much side play it has. That's wobble this way. And as you can see, that one moves a little bit sideways and a little bit up and down. That's That means that the valve guide or the valve itself is worn. This head right here on this valve looks really good. And it looks like that it's been hitting about halfway under. It's got a little cupping. This valve will have to be faced. The seat in there just, I'm um, just, you know, just preliminary. Looks good. It'll need, it have to have a new seat cut. Same on that one. It's got, uh, it's a little rough, but looks good. As, 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 as found. This valve here is, uh, well, I can see a little crooked in that valve right there, so I won't use this valve right here. I, I, that valve right there is not a, I, I wouldn't use that valve. The head is kind of, it's rounding this, well, it's got a wire place in the middle right there, undercut, under, where, the, where it's been seated with some compound too deep. So, I, I will not put this valve back in this head. Um, I had kind of thought that maybe they would be all right, but that's uh, 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 not a, no. And when you turn it, most likely what happened is this valve was stuck and somebody uh, got it freed up with a hammer. And when they did, it, 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 it knocked the valve crooked. Now this top one up here looks, eh, you know, you know what? I'm not going to go any further. I'm not going to use them back. Just throw them away. Um, it would be bad advice for me to tell you to use them valves. At this point in time, this seat area is so good. The, this head looks so good all the way around. It's a really, really, it's a good looking coat. I, I think the head warrants new valves. Just, just you know, that's just bottom line. So it, this this head right here will get new valves. So I'll get on order uh, two new valves. The uh, get a new spark plug and two new springs here, and we'll be good to go. Let's get on to something else now while we waiting on the delivery of them other parts. I'll get this cleaned up in the. Uh, Electrolysis tank, I'm going to take that out, electrolysis this, it'll be ready to go when we receive the parts.